My question is to the Prime Minister. Labor governments have routinely released Solicitor General advice when convenient to do so on at least three occasions. Why won't the government release the Solicitor General's advice about the voice to Parliament? Why does the government release advice only when it's politically convenient to do so? Call to the Prime Minister. Thanks, Mr Speaker. The government doesn't release Cabinet papers, as nor did, nor did the government that he sat in for nine years release Cabinet documents not once. Not once. Now, I'm asked about... Uh, I, I assume this is talking about uh, the voice to Parliament, although the question didn't <coughs> refer to that. Uh, but uh, the, the fact is... Order. The fact is that, that I would... I would encourage uh, the, uh, the shadow attorney general to continue to engage with the government because one of the things that he knows, because he helped to write some of the words, he helped to write some of the words that are now going to be put before the Australian people when he was a part of a process more than a decade ago. So what the shadow attorney general knows, others mightn't, but he knows full well is how disingenuous some of the comments have been made, because the shadow attorney general, the shadow Order. attorney general, the prime minister will pause. The prime minister was talking about the member for Braddon is interjecting in his wrong seat and will cease interjecting, or will leave the chamber. The member for Wannan on a point of order. Just on relevance, Mr Speaker, it was a very direct question on the Solicitor General's advice. Would you please refer Group. why you won't release the Resume Solicitor General? The <laughs> member, well, whoever it is, can cease. I'm going to just call the Prime Minister. Thanks, Mr Speaker. I, I answered the question very directly with my first answer, which was for the same reason that the former government didn't release, didn't release, Order. didn't release documentation that was specifically provided for the cabinet, for the cabinet over their nine years in government. Now, the shadow attorney general, Order. the, the shadow attorney general, now both has warned. actually been involved in time, a deeper way in this process for longer than I have been, and that is why he knows full well. He knows full well that some of the campaign that it has attempted, attempted to draw questions where, where they simply are, are not there, are not there. Uh, uh, are disingenuous going forward. And Noel Pearson, Noel Pearson nailed the shadow attorney-general in his article in The Australian of a few weeks ago. I'd say to the shadow attorney-general, he was, he was right then, he should, he should have the courage to stand up for the principal position that he has historically taken on this opposition. issue and support, and support, yes, when it's put to the Australian people later this year. And now, Order. now the Leader of the Opposition has broken his vow of silence today <laughs> through interjecting about something. Now, the Shadow Attorney-General knows, because it was outlined historically, how this process occurred in that article by Noel Pearson just a couple of weeks ago in The Weekend Australian, to the credit of The Weekend Australian, they got it right, Order. and I'd say Prime to the member to reflect on that. 